What's up, YouTube? YTPC. Happy Sunday. Well, Sunday. Uh, first, uh, thoughts and prayers to El Paso and Dayton. Uh, went and spent some time with my mother on the way home, I'm listening to the radio, and I'm a geek, so I listen to public radio. And they've already started on wanting to ban guns. Well, ban assault weapons. I've been trying to figure out what exactly is an assault weapon. For instance, back there on the wall, I have what is known as a tire billy or tire thumper. It's been hanging there for a couple years because, well, we no longer need one. But let's say my neighbor pisses me off. And I take that tire billy and I go over there and I whack him upside his head. Is that now? An assault, Billy? Mm, no. That makes me guilty of assault. <clears throat> but that's for another day. Um, people want to know how we're going to put a stop to it. Yeah, we're not. But we can slow it down. Two ways to slow it down. If you look what these places have in common, where these mass shootings take place are, they're gun-free zones. If you're there and you're abiding by the law, you have set yourself up to become a victim. And uh, kudos to the Dayton Police Department for taking the shooter down within a minute of arriving on the scene. I mean, Walmart gun-free zone, schools, gun-free zones, workplaces, gun-free zones, entertainment areas, such as the one in Dayton, gun-free zones. We need to get rid of the gun-free zones. Let law-abiding citizens protect themselves, first and foremost. Second, and this is where you sensitive type should just go ahead, hit the thumbs down, and move on. Second, we need to make the deterrent big enough to get their attention, such as bring back the electric chair, public hangings. Yep, I know. Firing squad. What we have is death by lethal injection because it's peaceful. It's painless. My belief, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that has this belief, they didn't care about their victims, why should we care about them? Make it painful. Make them suffer, just like they did their victims.
<clears throat> when I was reading the news, they said that the, uh, the area in Dayton is a relatively safe area. Unfortunately, in the world, there is no such thing as a safe area. I live in a small town, near a, near a big city, but a small town. We have four cop cars that are on the road 24 hours a day, but that's what we have, four cop cars. Four cops. Well, per shift. And urban sprawl has been getting closer and closer to us since I've lived here, and I've been here for nine years. When I first moved here, we didn't lock our front doors. The garage was open most of the day, and that's all changed. My little neighborhood here, we're pretty quiet, and we're pretty safe. We're all older. We're wiser. We're armed. So that's my opinion, like it or not. Thumbs down me, don't care. My opinion's not changing. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me, well, how many guns did you own? Well, it's none of your business. Or I tell them I got enough. If I can stop, I don't know if I can stop an intruder, but I can slow him down. Y'all have a good day. Keep on smoking. Pay it forward. Be true to yourself. Go sub somebody, anybody. No pipes left behind.